Hello everyone, Nick of Street Pass Princeton here to do another Pokemon X and Y battle for the PAX Pokemon League. This time I'll be taking on Jericho, the Arctic Explorer. I'm going to read his profile from the website. So, Prime Leader Jericho, Arctic Explorer. From a young age, Jericho loved to explore and would often be seen with his trusty print fluff in the snow drifts that surrounded his hometown of Snow Point City. Eventually, he bought an old icebreaker and let his wanderlust wanderlust take him into the uncharted waters of the northern seas for years he sailed mapped and trained in these harsh winter conditions only stopping to resupply and mail his maps to the cardiographic society while docking in seattle he received a letter from the battle chateau asking him to join their ranks with a smug grin he accepted to the proposition and proudly marched into the pax pokemon league where he plans to show these summer children why the cold should still bother them manage to defeat the veteran of the sea and the exploration badge should be yours shall be yours so anyway let's get to the battle Okay, so we're going to start off the battle. I believe I start off with Scizor, because I know most of his team is weak against uh, his, uh, his, his ice types, actually. He goes with Happy Feet, which I thought was a really great name for Empoleon. Unfortunately, I'm just, I know Empoleon's a threat, so I did, I did uh, X-Scissor, because it's not as bad as uh, Steel, uh, as a uh, Bullet Punch, unfortunately. Because Bullet Punch would have gotten doubly resisted because of the water and the steel. So I go with x -Scissor, hoping to do slightly more damage, and it's Choice Banded. So I'm doing decent damage. He does go for the Skull to burn me. Luckily, I don't get burned, which is great. And I need to hang in there. Uh, he did a lot of damage to me. So I go for another, uh, I think x -Scissor's, uh I might have gone for another one, but I'm not sure. He goes for Avalug. Yeah, I go for x -Scissor. I think I switch after this turn, because there's no way I'm going to keep him in. And I get hit by Rocky Helmet. So there's no way I'm going to stay in for that. So I switch out to Duke of Wesselton, who is a rock steel type. So he goes with Curse, and I'm just like, ugh, this could be bad. So his speed falls, but his defense and attack increase. Uh, but he withdraws Hingadinga to do Thalregan. So I go with uh, Power Gem, but unfortunately, Whalerin is pretty decently special buffed. So that's not great. Let's see. So still waiting. See Stealth Rock. Okay. I think he's going to use a water type attack, but I'm not 100% sure. Uses Roar. Okay. I could see that. I go with my Sharona, and I get hit by those rocks very badly. Those rocks are going to do lots of damage. I'm already down to half health. I go with Heat Wave just for the heck of it. And it does pretty much nothing. So he goes with Encore. And I feel like I don't care with my Sharona anymore, because honestly, he's going to pretty much die. I think his uh, Whalerin is a stall type. So I switch out Volcarona, I don't know why, and I go in with Gengar. So, Gengar has the stones, goes for Toxic, but I avoid the attack, and it's not going to matter, because Gengar resists, resists Toxic, he's a poison type. So he gets the lefties. Okay, I go with Hex. Does decent damage, he goes with another Roar. And I believe Volcarona comes back in. No, it's Duke of Wesselton this time. Okay, so we got Duke of Wesselton in. Okay, so Duke of Wesselton is here. So he withdraws. And he goes with Happy Feet. Let's see if I made the right move. Did I do Volt Switch? Yeah. I go with Volt Switch, which is great. <laughs> He's like, a what? Like, yep, Volt Switch. And I'm trying to remember what I did here. Oh, I go with Electric Slide. So I do get hit pretty badly with the stones. I do have an air balloon on, which is great. Okay, so at this point I use Shadow Ball. I didn't know if he was going to change, so I just did Shadow Ball. 
does take him out slightly, but it takes him pretty low. Uh, he goes with Scald, which will break that air balloon, fortunately, but it takes me down low health. I'm surviving, just barely. And so is his happy feet. So I go with another Shadow Ball. I don't remember why. I should have just gone Thunderbolt. So, Happy Feet is down. Thank God, that Empoleon needed to go. Badly. So he goes with Tarly, which is his, uh... You know what. Yeah. So I go with Hidden Power Ice. Does decent damage, but I am gonna get hit badly by Rock Slide. Okay. So, my Jolteon gets hit down. So I go with Courtship here. So Courtship is going to get hit by those stones, but I will survive with 7 health. And I'm going to go with that Bullet Punch, because Steel is strong against Ice. And pretty much, it's going to take his Mamoswine out. I don't have to worry about it anymore, which is great. So his Mamoswine and his Empoleon is gone, but now he goes with his Bear Arctic. Bear Arctic is an Ice type as well, so I go with Bullet Punch. Boom. Done. And, uh, yeah, that's down as well. Yeah, Bullet Punch Scissor really just takes care of Ice types too well. Uh, so we got Avalug, I believe that's its name. And I go with Bullet Punch. I do expect that I am going to be killed with the Rocky Helmet. That being said, at least I took about, like, a couple of his pokes. I took about Avalug, and I took out Mammoth Swine and Napoleon's gun. So only three are left. That's pretty good. I think I switch into to Delphox. Yes, I do. So I switch to Delphox. He switches to Azure. So I think you pretty much know what to expect here. I'm going to be going for that Solar Beam. So Solar Beam, here we go. It's Power Herb. One of Abdallah's signature strategies here. Boom, boom, boom. Gone. Oh, it's almost gone. I take his life orb, and I take some damage. I think he has a water attack on him. Sir, so that's pretty much gonna take out Delphox. Yeah, sorry, Delphox. And Delphox is out. So, that's when I switch into Gengar. So, Gengar comes in, and I believe I do Hex. Yes. Hex, which does pretty good damage, enough to kill it with its little HP left. That's pretty good. Okay. So we go with Stall Reagan again. Stall Rain, I believe that's his name. Anyway, I go with Venoshock. That does pretty decent damage. He goes with Ice Beam, which I guess is his attacking move. Wow, that took quite a bit of damage. Do I do Disable next turn? I think I might have done Disable, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I did Disable, because I was expecting another Ice Beam. Yep, and that was his only attacking move, so... Yep. And we both have some kind of recovery item on us. Okay. I go with Hex again. Goes with Encore. Which doesn't really mean anything, because I'm going to just keep attacking. So, okay. We both get some leftovers, which is good. And I think this is going to be the last move, so Hex pretty much takes out his last Pokemon. So Whalerin is gone. Great! So that means I've won the Explorer Badge! Yeah! So that was the third badge, the Explorer Badge from Jericho. It was actually Price from uh, the PAX East Pokemon League. Unfortunately, since there was an Ice-type leader, Ilsa, I couldn't uh, make any Let It Go references, which would have been funny. But, oh uh, well, whatever the less. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Leave a comment below, and do not forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google+, Plus, and Twitter. Next events will be Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy, and will be the uh, Nintendo 3DS version of Smash Brothers Brawl. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. You know, the drill, like the video, leave a comment below. Do not forget to subscribe. Check us out Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you next time on the next episode of Pokemon X and Y. 
uh, Pokemon PAX Prime Trainer Battles for the Pokemon PAX Prime uh, Pokemon League. So anyway, guys, see you guys later. Bye.